you know? The gunpowder I supplied is enough to destroy. What would you like to purchase? The best of us prepare for the... I would so hate for your fine features to be spoiled. There's no... Put me to shame. They will be laughing at me now. In what should have been my family, this represents every step you have taken on your hunting journey in this realm. There is so painfully little I can do to. I see the citizens are expending every effort for our town. Yet you are charged with the most onerous task. Are you ready for the battle ahead? In that case, may I take a moment of your time? There is something I would like to explain before you head into battle. I have been seeking assistance for Minato. But every clan is embroiled in the wars, raging to the west. All have refused me outright. Even my own Ago clan offer no support. None of them, including the head of the clan, my father, have the slightest interest in Minato. In their eyes, it is worthless. Good only for its inevitable destruction by Kimono. The fate they hope I, its steward, will share. <laughs> Forgive me. None of that is your concern. I am powerless to do anything but circulate through the town and offer encouragement to the citizens. To my shame, I do not even have a sword. So I have no choice but to implore you, an outsider, to shoulder the burden of Minato's destiny. Please lend us your strength. Lend my home your strength. It's on the move! Well, the cannon is ready for action. I just hope it holds out. It's never seen a battle like this before. I wish that Kemono would leave us alone. But it's too late for wishes now. Good luck. Yosh! Clear the decks! Yosh! 
Buy us the time we need. I know you can do it.
Use a flying mine and close in on it.
imaginary beast. <sighs> we are out of options.
Did we win? Oi! Oi! Everyone! We won! We won! Yes! Yes! Now please let that be the end of it. I underestimated you. I'm so relieved you made it back safely after a battle like that. Ujishige-san told me what you did. Defeating that giant kemono on your own, when all the defenses we prepared were spent. Togahime has asked to see you. She didn't say why. I imagine she'd like a report on the successful defeat of the kemono. I'll be at the forge if you need me. I have a cannon to repair. This sake will be languishing in his flask if it wasn't for your efforts. So here's to you, Chief. Goodbye. that hulk of a bear rose up in front of us like a wall of rock. I thought you'd had it. But here you are, Chief. all my expectations. <sighs> Minato is saved. What a magnificent, magnificent service you have done for us. I dare not imagine what might have come to pass were not for you. As steward of Minato, I shall be forever in your debt. I wish to reward your efforts somehow, but... I see. Your temperance is to your credit. Now, as I am sure you are aware, I am afforded no influence over matters here in Minato at all. What can I possibly do? Ah, of course! Ichi! You called, Hime-sama. The festival of returns of which you once spoke. Is now not the time for Minato to celebrate again? When Great Kimono would pass, the town would come together to honor the beast and release its spirit. Would they not? Mm. Indeed, Hime-sama. An excellent idea, I'm sure. Allow me to discuss the matter with the elders. I believe they may favor the suggestion. 
especially since the revival of the Karakuri has stimulated such an interest in the race of old. Good. I have made a very fine proposal, I think. And should it come to pass, I wish you much fun and excitement. <sighs> Arigato. That will be all. We will make all the necessary arrangements for the festivities. I am sure you ought to rest. You're enjoying the festivities, I hope. Records suggest the last time this festival of returns occurred was more than 100 years ago. But at that time, the supply of celestial thread from the Spirit Isle was already faltering. So it must be even longer since the festival has taken place properly. I intend to, shortly. I was just doing some research on the Kuninarashi. It seems that Earthbreaker had been dormant for a good 10 years in the region north of here. It must have covered quite some ground, passing the Sacred Mountain and continuing southeast along the Blossom Trail, perhaps in search of celestial thread. I can only presume the arduous journey took its toll, resulting in those fissures the Kocho were swarming over. And finally, the great beast succumbed to human hunters. I suppose it failed to find suitable feeding ground, Either that, or celestial thread levels all over Azumar are waning. There was a terrible war here in this region about 15 years ago. Great forests burned, and there was a mass territorial expansion as many kimono sought new habitats, which is what drove humans out. If the changing flow of celestial thread is going to result in renewed kimono unrest across the entire region, then, well, I'll continue my research and you continue to exercise caution when you're out hunting. Ah, Natsume was looking for you. As an outsider, some people were a little wary of you before, but everyone will have to accept you now. <sighs> Trust me, most of us in Minato welcome people from elsewhere with an open mind. After all, most of the town's residents were outsiders once upon a time. 
In ancient times, there were lots of hunters living across Azuma, and they all helped each other out. Then later, when the samurai rulers gained power, this area became a province overseen by a Shugo governor. The samurai slowly pushed hunters further east, until they were left with nowhere to go but Minato, here on the eastern edge of the region. Generations of hunters have lived here, mixing with others who fled to Minato to escape difficult lives under the samurai. And now you've arrived, with your amazing ability to conjure and control Karakuri. Perhaps you're the person Minato has been waiting for, come to rescue us from our plight. Maybe this is your true purpose as a hunter, even. Sorry. That was presumptuous of me. But it would make me very happy to think you're starting to feel a fondness for Minato. Anyway, have you been enjoying the festival? The Rite of Returns will be starting soon at the altar. You've still got time to enjoy the party. Let me know when you've had your fill. It's a great party, isn't it? Oh! Look who it is! The hero of the day! Enjoying the festival? Yeah? That's what I like to hear. I was on my last legs even before we started preparing for this, but hearing you say that makes it all worthwhile. Oh, I better be running along. The other elders will be fuming if I'm not back soon. They'll give me a real eyeball. See you later. A big party with the whole team. Enjoy yourself. What delightful festival. This is delightful, and we all know who we have to thank for it. It stung a little to donate my entire stock of gunpowder, but festival sales are saving the day. And Minato is to enjoy your stimulating company for the foreseeable future, yes? <laughs> a profitable outcome for us all. <laughs> What a heartwarming day. It's good to let you <laughs> Oh, you're back already? Do you want to head over together for the ceremony? I'm glad you've enjoyed yourself. Come on then, this way. Fire liberates the soul. The beast spirit will return to the heavens and rest until it's reborn in a new body. It's one of Minato's oldest rites. <sighs> it's a load of old hokum. Forget the next life. There's enough to worry about in this one. Isn't that right, Chief? Oh. 
is that? The bird of auspice. It's flying so close. It can only be a good omen for our town. Minato will prosper like you once did. Even more, perhaps. Forgive me for intruding. Are you awake? There is a matter of some urgency I must discuss with you. Allow me once again to express my heartfelt gratitude for your exploits. Your courage saved Minato from devastation. But I confess, my blood ran cold yesternight at the sight of the kimono flying overhead. I had not known the citizens of Minato call that kemono Amaterasu, the bird of auspice. I wish that its appearance truly were auspicious, but I fear that Minato is rarely so fortunate. Our near misadventure with the Earthbreaker has again made me wonder what more I can do for the town. I had already been consulting with trusted kin on the matter. They suggested bolstering town defenses, since there is a very real prospect of further attack. Consequently, I have summoned carpenters of the renowned Tsuruhashi clan from the capital. They are skilled at building large structures and well versed in the use of karakuri. I share your excitement. It will bring great strength to our town. There is, however, one matter that troubles me. Ordinarily, one would travel here from the capital across the sea but I am told the Southern Ocean is too perilous at present. The clan must therefore arrive by land, a journey due to take them through the Akikure Canyon. The land there was laid to waste by war, and as Kemono increased in number, the canyon was sealed shut. I have arranged for it to be reopened so the carpenters may pass. But as a precaution, I would ask that you meet them there and provide escort. Good then I know they will arrive safely. Now, if you will excuse me, I have further preparations to make. <laughs> 